What up, what up, what up? Double M's, it's your boy, Keys. And it's your girl, Mandy. Ew, ew. And we back. With another video, video, video. And what we got? This time we got City Barbecue. Mm-hmm. We got some brisket in there, collard greens, some macaroni and cheese. And the cone over here, I got some baked beans, y'all. We got that toast. Mm -hmm. We went City Boy with it. City Boy with it. City Boy with it. <laughs> So they got city boys, city girls, and city barbecue. And it's a what? It's a hot girl, hot boy summer. Shout out to the city girls and shout out to Megan the Stallion. Yep. It's enough room for all of y'all. No need to be. Shout out to <laughs> City Barbecue. No need to be for who summer it is. It's all our summer, y'all. It's all our summer. It's yep. our year. It's a city barbecue summer. <laughs> Right. Let's get into this. What, baby? Blessings. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Most loving and gracious Father, thank you for all your bountiful blessings you bestowed upon us. Thank you for our friends and loved ones coming in to join us in this meal. Add a blessing unto them. Add a blessing unto this food. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. How y'all doing out there? How's the double them kingdom, y'all? We hope y'all doing good. We doing good and we eating good. Mm-hmm. Mm, love the baked beans. And y'all like the fact they let you sample. Like if you wanna know how something tastes, they'll say, do you wanna get a sample? And they give you a nice generous sample too. I'm gonna give a man some of this sausage. Mm-hmm. Just a little sausage, not too much. Yeah, not too much. I'm done. Get out of here. <laughs> Should have known he was gonna say something smart. Y'all yeah, so good. This so yeah, if I eat food too fast. Mm. And they have macaroni and cheese. I guess they make it two ways. Because the lady asked me did I want it baked or did I want the regular? Mm, give me that baked baby. And what's the rug on? Mm, this is that stove top. Mm. Mm -mm. That water down stuff, I don't know. I know she asked me which one I wanted. <laughs> baked. And this baked macaroni cheese is good. Mm. What about that green? That greens are good, too. Better than uh, Maddie Mac. I don't know. They probably running the neck and neck with me. Um, May match a little bit the taste of the same. They ain't too bad now. No. Miss Mac got them whooped. Okay. Yeah, ain't too bad though. No, they ain't bad. Mm -mm, I like collard greens. They ain't bad. Mm. They got a whole lot of water going on though. Yeah, they Man, do. They're too liquidy now. I will say that they are very liquidy, y'all. They put a lot of the juice but, in the collard greens, but they good. Yeah, they real greens. Mm -hmm. You can tell they, they these cut collard greens. This ain't not not the can. You say every saying. time I do a video. Yeah, cause you look like a little broke yeah. record. And you, you these know, real greens. These real. They real. Gonna be an old man. These real greens. You gotta check, man. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Baked beans, y'all. We got some barbecue sauce up here. We got the city barbecue, the sweet sauce. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dang, he just watching that. You want to You want to join the mukbang? <laughs> Dang, oh, in my mouth. I mean, just stand, walking and staring dead in my mouth, y'all. He gonna fall and hurt himself. Ain't looking ahead. Lord have mercy. I'm gonna start asking people, y'all want to join the mukbang? Go and subscribe to the channel. You looking so hard. Keep be wondering what you're doing. Stay in the car eating and talking and looking at something. <laughs> you gotta let them know what we're doing. Mm -hmm. I told y'all. Hmm. Yeah, nothing. 
I'm a very curious, sir. Would you like to know what I was doing? <laughs> I'm being embarrassed. You called out. <laughs> Oh, it's good. We got some brisket. We got some turkey. Mm -hmm. We got the sampler, y'all. That's that turkey. The city barbecue sampler. Man. And it, it's good. I'm going to get you a piece mm. of that. Mmm. Man, they got them ribs. Mm. You can tell. They smoke real good. Look at that line at the top. Mm. Mm. They smoke real good. Y'all, that sauce on there and that smoke flavor. Mm. Damn. We got that brisket. You can tell they did it real good. Look at that. It ain't better than mine, but it's good. Look at that, look at that. Look at right down on that end. Y'all see that? With that red and the little burnt end. Yeah, they did that. Mm, this cool so good. Yeah, this gonna, be, this gonna be my little snack later on. I'll tow them sides up. Especially my greens. I ain't got no greens though. I love greens, y'all. Yeah. Last but not least, a sausage. Mm -hmm. I don't want no baby. This is really good, y'all. Mm -hmm. They baked beans. Mm -hmm. um, they just pour a little bit of uh, sweet barbecue sauce in it. They don't. They still taste good. Yeah. But they ain't really, you know, they ain't really dress them up like that. They bush baked beans. Mm -hmm. But they good, y'all. Mm -hmm. They got a nice flavor to them. And they barbecue sauce adds some flavor to those beans. Their barbecue sauce is really good. I like the sweet um, city barbecue. And mm -hmm. what we got was called the sampler, the city barbecue sampler. So that basically gives you turkey meat. It gives you, um, brisket you also get um sausage mm -hmm. and then we added a half a slab of ribs to the um order mm -hmm. and then you get two sides so we picked macro no we picked collard greens and we picked um baked beans so you basically get like i said the turkey meat you get the brisket the sausage two sides and that's a sampler and then we added baked macaroni and cheese. We added that. And um, yeah, that's that real baked macaroni and cheese. That's the other half I left for keys. And they um I added some cornbread. No, I ain't eating cornbread, but it's right here. Yeah, they give you a whole little loaf. Mm -hmm. Whole little cornbread. Y'all know what? If you can eat a um some real That's the cornbread, y'all. Without putting barbecue sauce on it. Then you know that's a good real. Oh yeah. I put barbecue sauce on mine. He says so good. You want to try it with barbecue sauce? So good with it. I'm gonna mm -hmm. try a little bit. Here. Just a little bit. One and this good without the barbecue sauce. Wanna dip a little bit? I'm sure you're gonna like it. It tastes really, really good. All right, it's got now, a nice flavor. Now this went the barbecue sauce and they had like nine different barbecue sauces. Yes, they did, y'all. And you can go Bourbon, and fix it. all yes. different flavors and stuff. I ain't good with that all them different types of flavors and then you can go over there and fix whatever sauces you want to they got it set up like that too and you can go there and all your to go to your go um to go containers up on your own or whatever sauces you need hot mm -hmm. sauce pepper they got the mm -hmm. um pepper in there oh, the hot no. pepper liquid texas peat and they toast good too it's, it's really toasted really toasted I've been to places that study has got the Texas toast and it's soft bread all they do with a, with a look of toast. This is really toasted and good too. So got a nice flavor. Not too buttery, mm. not too salty. The bread tastes really good. The food's so good. 
is trying to hop out my mouth so I can't eat it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Real toast. I'm talking about that's crisp. Tastes so good, flaky. Mm, 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 She's mm, gonna mm. have my bread because I ain't gonna eat it. Yeah, you know, I tag it later, bro. Get a little snack in. Look, then I be talking about some of some, some, too full. <laughs> I ain't gonna eat it. Why? Mm. I know me. Maybe a day or so later. They that's get, good bread. Yeah, they give you a lot of food now. They do. They definitely treat you, real, treat you well. Up in here. I'm going to say the rest of this for later, y'all. But I definitely wanted to have some lunch with y'all today. Y'all mm -hmm. see Keys, y'all. He got his, you know, his dress shirt on and tie. Keys had some um, meetings today. And me, on the other hand, I just tagged along for the ride, but on my street clothes, <laughs> I stayed in the car, rolled around. So I go get some gas in the car, get us some lunch. I'll do that. <laughs> I'll do that while you inside taking care of business. Everything worked out, though, I'll tell you that. You want to put it in this bag? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fresh bag. Let me put your bread in there. Oh, yeah. You can put it in my thing. I'm going to look the yeah, y'all, we, um... Yeah, they give you piles of bread. I ain't with it. Yeah, they do. And we over here at, um... We in Decatur, where it's greater. Lying? <laughs> lying? <laughs> oh, y'all lying on the song. <laughs> well, everybody want to rip where they from, baby. Bit boy. Like, like Blood Ross um, said, I'm from the Banging Bay. <laughs> oh, my block burn, okay? <laughs> what about yearns? <laughs> mm -hmm. Man, that song was everything when that song came out. When um, Blood Raw did that song. Boy, you couldn't tell Panama City nothing. And we thought we was put on the map, boy. He was like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Y'all know how people do these songs and they want to rep where they from. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with it. And a couple of these artists might decade away is greater. Decade away is greater, y'all. You need to stop playing. Andre. <laughs> well, I'll tell Big you boy. one thing. Well, I'll tell you one thing. It's, what, um, what's it? What, what? Lloyd. Um, and who else? Um, is it Jacquees? Not Jacquees, is it? Mm -hmm. No, I don't think. Jacquees ain't from Hazy. I don't know where he's from. Probably it's from him. I don't know. Luda, this where you from? Everybody from some part of some different part, you know how I go. I know Lloyd and, and, and Andre and Bit Boy talk about it a lot. Decatur. About Decatur, mm-hmm. Decatur, Georgia. Decatur where it's greater, baby. <laughs> I bet the difference. a mess but it's nice out here in the area where they um, built a nice shopping center with the city barbecue over here they have a mod um, pizza and salad next door I'll probably try that next time because I've had blaze but I heard mod is really good and um they got chick-fil-a chick-fil-a is like let me tell you something let me just say this real quick about chick-fil-a okay chick-fil-a is on every corner every block in Georgia I've never seen that many Chick Fil A's before, cause you don't even see them like that in Orlando, do you? Mm -hmm. Florida don't have Chick Fil A's like that, but here, and they but drop, here, they dropping a dime on that lemonade <laughs> in Georgia. I don't see no lemon trees, but they dropping a dime on that lemonade. <laughs> I will tell you one thing, Chick Fil A ain't gonna miss no money. They ain't missing a beat, okay? I'm so sick of Chick Fil A. I said, "Damn, I'll never get so tired of them because that's my spot." <laughs> but I'm tired. I'm tired, mm -hmm. boss. I like them sometimes. But I'm tired of them right now. We we see them too much. Mm -hmm. I was gonna go to Chick Fil A today. I'm like, no. I'm it's like, too, too, it's too no. many. It's too many places to eat at right here. Mm -hmm. For us not to explore be, and, yeah, and, and, and you know taste some, some of the good food. Something different. That's right. I agree with you, baby. Man, 
We were out here like the Food Network. And what else over here? It was, it was some other restaurants I saw here. Another thing I see a lot of here too is is our Moe's, Moe's Southwest and Grill. I don't see a lot of Chipotle, not in this area, but I see Mo. I see Moe's everywhere. Mm -hmm. I notice Moe's everywhere. They have a Moe's everywhere, y'all. Mm -hmm. They have Moe's everywhere. We like Gaffietti. We're going to eat everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I know the, one thing. I make my way back to Papa Do's. Bite. Yeah. Because yeah. I like Papa Do's. Now, Papa Do's. Mm -hmm. Chick fil A. I'm sorry. Nah, no, ain't even any now, comparison. Pa Papa Do's with that raspberry lemonade. Oh, you talking they lemonade? You comparing they lemonades? Oh, goodness. Uh, yeah, they lemonade wrong. Man, and, and if you add a shot of rum. Or you add a shot of vodka. Now, kids, this joke get here, out of here. This, this joke here trying to go in the liquor store and get him a mini bottle and take in the rest of it. You know who you know who you can take the Papa Do's and hook that lemonade up? And she'll 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 do it right. Who did? That, that uh Tony Wise. Sharika. The, the eating, pr eating pretty moot bongs, y'all. Yeah. yeah, she make them you, drinks, honey. The the YouTube bartender. Yeah. She the YouTube. The female YouTube bartender. She really should do a channel just on making them drinks. Hey, Cause they be looking so look good. Look here, we done hook you up. <laughs> now you got a whole nother channel got to come out. Mm -hmm. A channel just making drinks. You better hurry up. Cause, cause it's, we'll follow along. Better hurry up before somebody see this. So if you watching, <laughs> we we your first subscribers. Right. So. YouTube channel just making nothing but drinks. Honey, nothing but, nothing honey, but drink. honey, we'll be there every time you upload, ready to make our drink. <laughs> Cause they be looking so good. She have all the fruit in them, and they be so big. That's somebody be sitting on big glass like she yeah. be having. And we gon' we gon' yeah, we gon' critique some drinks. Yeah, come on now. Mandy said it. Mandy said it. You need a YouTube channel mm -hmm. making drinks. Yes, right. Get on it. And you know what? Somebody commented today and they asked me in the comments. I can't think of your name right now, but you asked me, um, how do you start a YouTube channel? The same way you are watching us on YouTube. You could take your same channel or you could recreate a whole other Google Gmail account or whatever and start you a YouTube channel. If you got a phone, let's turn it on. It has a camera. Hey, look at Start it recording. Look at it, Ryan. Oh, I got balls for real. You know what I'm saying? I got balls for real, y'all. For real. I'm a real poet. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll be you if you start checking out my podcast, I'm gonna start opening my podcast up every episode with a poem for you. I'm gonna make sure all my work is copyrighted first. Cause I don't wanna hear my poems in no spoken words. I don't yep. wanna hear my poems in nobody books. That, that, Cause I'm gonna be suing. <laughs> and that was my my ne my next thing. Hey, if you in the comments, tell us where. Well, a spoken word where mm -hmm. they do that throughout the week because i'm good I'm, I'm really good with that and i really want to get into it i've been writing poetry since i was young y'all and um i really want to share some of my works with a lot of people you know i want to really share some things that i've been through and i think that a lot of people can relate to some of the stuff i write about but i do have a poem that i'm going to open up my next uh, podcast episode with so y'all look forward to that on um, thursday also, uh, make sure you share the podcast with just one other person. I don't care if it's just one other person. Share the podcast with somebody else. The more people that know about mm -hmm. this, the more people that can be inspired and encouraged, y'all. And like I said, if you're looking to start a YouTube channel, it is simple as you cutting your camera on on your phone and just hit and record. Like I told somebody else, hey, just record yourself and then play it back and see if you like it or whatever. And don't think too far into it because I do that to myself sometimes. I'm like, hey, but they kind of, will my message resonate with them? Mm -hmm. Don't worry about who it will resonate with. God will give the message to who needs it. All you worry about is putting it out there. And I'm telling y'all, I, I have to practice what I preach. And I, that's why I tell you these things because I struggle with it too. I'm, I'm not perfect, but I, I made the effort to get on YouTube. I made the effort to start my podcast. 
and I'm gonna try to work on my consistency with making sure every Thursday you guys get an episode and to start in the following week to do a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday episodes. The more episodes I put out, the more my podcast will go around. So I gotta get more comfortable with just you know sharing the word and when something's on my mind, just get on there and speak it right then and there. You know what I'm saying? Cause I got the whole little studio set up with the Yeti mic. I got the whole little Logitech um, recording where I can edit my um you know my podcast and it sounds very clear like I'm in the studio but I'm in my house doing that you know what I'm saying some of this equipment don't even cost a whole lot you can go on amazon.com right now and get you a whole yeti mic system yeah. with the um mic the cover for the mic everything but I think 130 I got mine to 129 bought that thing back in November 2018 did I not back November 2nd 2018 I can show you the receipt at amazon.com bought it in 2018 never used it finally opened up my stuff and said you know what I have everything I need to su succeed and that is where that episode came from it was birthed from that moment of thinking like that I was like man I have everything I need to succeed why am I sitting here not utilizing what I already have to get where I'm trying to go That's right. you know what I'm saying so I say that because I did do an episode you guys on my podcast it's on anchor fm and the podcast is called mandy moments and um it's linked always in our description box below so make sure you check out my podcast share it with somebody support my podcast um me and keys have a paypal where you can support our channel we also have a cash app we're not asking anybody to do anything but if it's on your heart if it's ever led to be on your heart to, bless it yeah sending them sending them collection plates around <laughs> It's the first go around. Stop right your now. mess. You know we ain't before with we that. End, before we that end the video. That is not who we are. You better stop. We're going to send it around again. No, we not. <laughs> now he acting like them we church folks. We rather the ones that jingle. You know. We would rather that. We would we know we would. to have a blessing heart and give us the ones that fold. <laughs> Come on. Where that came from? To my, we we uh, we appreciate the money that jingle or something like that. Yeah. But we mm -hmm. but we would like to kind of. Oh, that was on uh, coming to America. <laughs> Randy Jackson. <laughs> one of my favorite movies. I believe the children are. That boy here. good. He good. He say. <laughs> Same real terrible. <laughs> Seth the chocolate. His mama his mama named the Cash Clay. I'm calling him Cash Clay. <laughs> Oh man. But she do a real good job, y'all. We most definitely we are looking. We like that type of atmosphere mm -hmm. with the spoken word, uh, jazz music. And you know what like else that. we like too? We like inspiring y'all. We love it. You know, Keys is not a big talker like I am. But if we meet a stranger, he's the big talker. I'm more of the reserved, standoffish, mm, gotta get a feel for the person first type. That's me. Um, but I'm learning to come out of that and just, you know, be free and be open. And only thing people can tell you is no, but be willing to stand on a thousand no's for one yes. I heard a lady say in a BET award show years ago, she said she stood on a thousand no's until she got that one yes. And you guys, I'm telling you, believe in yourself, whatever it is that you are trying to accomplish, whatever it is you said you want to do. If you want to start YouTube, just get started. Just get started. There's really nothing I can tell you about it, but just get started. Because let me tell you something, even when people won't help you, you have to be willing to research, search, seek out people, other people for help. Hey, how do I do this? How do I do that? Or either watch YouTube videos on how to start a YouTube channel or um, how do I um, set up my phone properly for good lighting and things like that. There is so much information out here, you guys. If we just take the opportunity to read and listen, you can, you can grow into anything you want to be. Yeah. The, sky, the sky is not the limit. The sky you is not the limit. Excel. You will. You will. I was just telling another lady this morning in the um, comments. She said that, you know, that's why she started her channel. And she said that she loves watching us. We inspire her. And she said she hopes her channel grows really big. I said, your channel will grow. Consistency. I don't have to grow at the same rate as somebody else. I'm going to grow at the rate God wants me to grow. Yeah. So And that's, that's a good, that's a good, mm -hmm. good, good thing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody consistency ain't the same consistency. Mm -hmm. And you can't put them both on the same panel. You know what I'm saying? What you perceive as consistency may not be our uh, perception of consistency. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because someone posts every day and we only post four times a day. Oh, four times that, a week. 
uh, four times, yeah, in a week. Um, does that mean they're not consistent? No. No, because you post because because you because you post less than somebody else doesn't mean that you're not as consistent. You know what I'm saying? Now your grind may be different when it comes to YouTube because you might be working on other stuff outside of YouTube. It's just like, for example, B Love. B Love is very huge on this platform. She has earned everything that she is getting right now. You know what I'm saying? And then some. She's earned it because she's consistent and she posts every day and she worked hard on her channel. If you go back to a lot of her older videos, the lady put the work in, she grinded, you know, to get to where she is. You know what I'm saying? You can't take that from her. You know what I'm saying? Anybody saying anything different will be just behaving. You know what I mean? When people work hard for what they want and they grind and they, they, stick, they stick with it and be consistent with it, um, I don't even recall her having anybody else to um, idol or model her doing this. She like eating seafood. It kind of it just went with her. Sometimes right. something just goes with a person and it just makes them flourish. You have to find what your niche is and what will help you flourish. You know what I'm saying? She didn't have no big YouTubers I don't believe that I know of that mm -hmm. she could just, you know, Go to uh, go to her to help her get her channel. Off, yeah, uh, she didn't have that. She was she said she did the um YouTube um sub for sub. She would go into little groups and things like that. She used the resources that she had available to her, and she wasn't afraid. And that's the key thing, you guys. You gotta get fear out the way. You gotta be um persistent, and you gotta be consistent. I don't care if the consistency is I'm gonna do it three times a week until I get more comfortable and have more time to do it four, five every day. You know, because once she made it her primary job. Why not post every day? This is mm -hmm. this is my business, yep. you know. So I and get that's it. What, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Until you can make, make it your business. Yeah, yeah. You know, do at least so. two, three times a week. Whatever it works for you, do what works for you. Because what me and Keys do may not work for you. And you got to think about it. It's two of us here. So when I'm not, when I can't make a video, he can still make a video. When he can't make one, I can still make one. Or he can upload one, I can upload one. And that's the thing. We help each other. Like he said, you know, I really want to learn how to you know, edit the videos on the Mac computer. Yes, he's done it on the uh, phone. Yes, he's done it on the other HP computer. But the Mac is a little different, y'all. The Mac is a whole nother beast. I'm just gonna be honest. It ain't the, it ain't the same. Some people say, oh, it ain't nothing to them because they're tech, they're tech savvy. You know what I'm saying? But everybody's not. But that's okay. You can learn what you need to get where you're trying to go. Yep. And that's all we're saying. Don't you, be afraid to get just, started. You just make it fit you. Make it fit you. That's make, right. Make the Mac come. Uh, computer comfortable for you learn the commands you need and then as you get comfortable with those commands then hey then move on then That's move on to learn something else you got to start somewhere though just like with youtube you said you want to do youtube hey i don't have a camera i don't have lights i don't have this we didn't have any of that stuff in the beginning either but guess what we did we used our phone we bought one of the little uh, clip on the table ring lights set it up above the phone where it kind of give a little bit more lighting and we did our we did our um videos and stuff yep. like that you know, we did. That's how we was doing them at home. We sure was. Still with, with the phone. We ain't had no ring light. Now we got and two. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, now we got, what, two cameras? No, we got three cameras now. Three mm -hmm. cameras. We got um, different lenses. Some $1,000 lenses, you know what I'm saying? And we had this expensive equipment and didn't even know how to use it, y'all. But what we did, we get on YouTube. We, we watched. We listened to our videos. Called friends. You know, and they told us how to do certain things. Shout out to everybody who done helped us. Because I'm telling you, there was a lot of things we didn't know in the beginning. We were just making it up as we go along. So that's what I'm saying. Don't ever forget the people that were instrumental in helping you get your channel going. Helping you learn how to um, do certain things. And don't be afraid to just get started. Yeah. It ain't once you perfect. get out there, Once you get out there and you make it to the top, don't forget Brian now. <laughs> don't forget Brian now. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm about to put you out of here. Rick Ross. <laughs> Brian, now, boy, get out of here. I want to hear that mess. <laughs> Can't believe it. You stepped on half a billion. Don't forget and Brian, now. <laughs> don't forget Brian, now. Don't forget where you came from. Y'all, you know what? Some people are always saying to us, too, in the comments, they're always saying, you know, stay humble. Let me tell you something. We are so humble. You know what I'm saying? We got 11,000 subscribers. And to some people, that's probably still small. Like, mm, they ain't doing nothing. But that's okay. You know what I'm saying? I personally said, that's why your channel ain't growing. Let me tell you something. I'm growing at the pace God is wanting me to grow. We're growing at the pace God wants for us. And I am never in a rush 
to get to my blessing because I know whatever God has for me, it is for me. And I know that when it's time for me to receive it, he will give it to me That's because right. he will know that I'm able to handle it, sustain it, and be grateful for it. Some people out here being blessed are having doors open for them and they are closing them back on themselves. I've never seen that. Somebody open a door for you and you shut it back closed on yourself. Mm -hmm. But some people don't know how to handle being blessed. And that's honest, y'all. Some people have not been prepared or have not yet went through enough stuff in their life in order to know when they've been truly blessed with good people, with uh, financial wealth, with um, just mental stability mm -hmm. people don't even be are not even thankful for the little things if you're not grateful and thankful for the little things how can god give you the bigger things and sometimes god will allow a big blessing to come in the door he allow a big blessing to come to you and you take it and you start treating people nasty and acting like you better than people with that blessing god will bring you right on back down okay i, tr I tried to take you up there i was gonna take you a little higher but you couldn't even handle right here how i'm gonna take you up here you couldn't even handle right here See, that's why I want you to always remember, we'll always be humble on this platform because I know where God is taking me. And I know that he's preparing me for a place in the presence of my enemies, okay? So when he gets me there, me. I will be ready and I will remain humble. I, I truly do this work, y'all, me and Keys both together. We truly do this because we want to bless people. I'm telling y'all, I want to be so, I want to be so in such a good place financially, spiritually, emotionally, and mentally that when somebody comes to me who really has a need, I want to be able to not just like we was listening to Kanye West last night. Mm -hmm. I don't want to just be able to help because I want to help. I want to be a doer. I want to do. What can I do to, 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 to soften the blow right now for you? I want to be able, somebody came to me and said, hey, listen, I can't pay my rent. What is your rent? But what is your rent? Be able to uh, speak mm -hmm. and give great detail on what you uh, you need mm -hmm. at that time to get you where you need to be. Not uh, to be uh, taken advantage of or used. Of course not. You yeah. don't want to. But you will want to. You want to help people that you don't want to help themselves. Exactly. If you knew somebody was really trying and they just in a jam this month. They want to pay their rent and that'll help them get over the hump going forward. If I paid your rent and it will get you to the next the next step, I want to do that for somebody that I know really just need the help. I want to be able to help people like that. That's what I want to be able to do. Yeah. I want to be able to set up charitable work where I actually go out and help people, counsel them, help them. Because you know what my uncle told me one time? God bless the day, Uncle Lynn. He was such an amazing pastor, y'all. He would, he would share that word, and he knew the Bible from front to back. He can quote any scripture without even looking in that word. I mean, he would quote it before you found it in the book. He would tell you where to go, and while you going there, he already quoting it. And he told me something one time. He said, I never approached the homeless trying to preach the word of God to them. Not unless I feed them first. He said, you got to you gotta take care of somebody's need. And then they'll be more apt to listen. How's somebody going to want to hear you talking about the goodness of God and they sitting there hungry? That was a great analogy to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People want to know that you can really help them. And it's not always monetary help. It's not always you got to give you got to give money and everything. But sometimes people need to know, hey, they just need a hug sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes they just need somebody to say, hey, it's going to be okay. I'm here. We're going to try to figure this out together. I don't have any money. I don't have all the answers. But, hey, I'm here to try to help you figure it out. Sometimes that's all people really need. And some people won't even do that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm telling y'all, when I when I tell you I pray that God blesses this platform, that God blesses me and Keys to exalt to another height and new level, because people are going to get real help from us. They are. I'm mm -hmm. telling you. I'm, I'm going all out. And people can mark my words and they can bring me back to this video if they need to. Because I always say what I say because I know I mean it. And I know that's what I want to do. We're going to have the YouTube choir <laughs> come in with the hymn. And we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna uh, pass around that uh, prayer basket this second time around. And let's see if we could just do just a little bit better than what we did the first. Listen, you better stop doing it for somebody watching this. <laughs> For somebody to come in on this part and be like, oh, no, they ain't on the ask for money. <laughs> you finna mess up when we get started. You wrong. Y'all, 
gotta smudge my glass. Lord, I can't. I can't. Let's have them. Come on. Come on, y'all. Don't be don't be sitting. This ain't no time to sit. Come on, honey. <laughs> sing a little hymn. And we're gonna get this prayer ba basket around. Let here. me tell y'all something. No. Uh, no. Now I don't wanna put no churches on blast. I ain't gonna say no names, but we in the church. <laughs> Boy, they had them baskets in heavy rotation. <laughs> That's all I want to say. I'm talking about they got the baskets. In, <laughs> they got the baskets during church. You can't be afraid to uh, ask um, to do get uh, do that due diligence. You know, <laughs> come on out here and, and help bless somebody. We are gonna get them baskets um, going around. But listen, when church over, they still out there with the baskets. <laughs> As you leave. They trying to listen. They trying to get every little thing you got. Give it all you got. You give it all you got. Let me stop. That ain't right. <laughs> but it's so funny, y'all. How so many churches do? You better stop out imitating these pastors in a mess. It's all right. <laughs> Oh my goodness, y'all. But for real, honest to God, we just want to help people and we just want to um, love on y'all and let y'all know we really truly love our subscribers and we appreciate every last one of y'all and y'all kind words and your prayers for our channel to grow and for our platform to grow yeah. and for everything that we're trying to do to, you know, actually. Um... Y'all got, come on, subscribe. Yeah. Um, blessings, much love to us, um, our full fledged. Um, subscribers, mm -hmm. but if you're watching and you're not subscribed, go on hit that button. Mm -hmm. Hit the button, subscribe. Come on, let's move the channel up. Let's elevate this channel. Uh, mm -hmm. you, come on, man. We grinding. We <laughs> doing our thing. We working hard. Yeah, it'll, it'll happen, baby. It'll happen. It'll happen in its time. It'll happen. It'll it's, happen. It's it's time to elevate. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. But you guys, we don't want to ramble on because we'll be having a good old time with y'all all day. You know we would. Yeah, it's it's some rest time. Your boy need a nap a little bit. Yeah, he done been in three meetings already, y'all. And I, I just, I rode around and took care of some other stuff while he did that. Then I got us some lunch because I know this morning we didn't eat breakfast. And he was like, I should have ate something before I, um before we left the house because he started feeling kind of like, you oh, know, man, that little start, headache and stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's because uh, it's, it's hot out here. You know? So City Barbecue was right on time and, mm -hmm. um. It's really good. Yeah, yeah it's really it's good. Really you guys try it out if you haven't already. Or yeah, if you this the one in Decatur. Yeah. They got one over there um, where we at in, in Alpharetta. Alpharetta. Mm -hmm. And they all the same. Yeah. You know, they good. They really, really, really good. Mm -hmm. You can tell they, they putting putting in that work on, on them grills. and. Uh, oh, and they packed in the two, y'all. People is in here, honey, eating, okay? So try it out, y'all. Um, we hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out my Mandy's Moments podcast on Anchor FM. It's also available on Spotify, and they're putting it off on more platforms. Um, you know, just, you know, make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel, hitting the notification bell, because YouTube has been having issues with people not being notified yep. of videos. That's another thing, so you got to make and sure we've that We've been having problems like that, too, with, with the a, lot of, a lot of people, videos that we're subscribed to. We don't I had to go back. Yeah, I had to go back unsubscribe then subscribe again and hit the bell yep it is it's so, really weird that youtube do that to I'm people like, but yeah we, we were subscribed to a lot of channels we weren't getting any notifications so we had to start back going what going through looking for the names and going back watching the videos ourselves and i start writing the names down because i'm like man i'm gonna have to make sure i write the names down so i can go support you know what i mean because youtube ain't giving me no notifications yep. so y'all watch that because youtube does that and it's, it's kind of um unfortunate that they do that though yeah and then yeah. uh, putting people comments in the spam so don't think that we're not answering your comments mm -hmm. sometimes we don't even get the comment and then we have to go in and check the spam and clean it out and yeah. I and I try to do it every day y'all I try to go in there every day at a certain time and just check it and then I have to approve them it won't let me respond to it in spam I have to approve it and then go back and find your comment on that video so I have to make sure I look at it and see what video you commented on and then go back to that video and then comment it, YouTube, YouTube, and YouTube, I'm telling y'all. Yeah. 
So it's a lot of moving parts to it besides people just sitting here eating on camera. I know people say that part is easy, but um, there's a lot of other moving parts that go on behind the scenes you just don't know about. So people are actually working, y'all. They do actually work. Yeah, they sit down and join a meal for you, but after that meal is over, there's a lot of other things got to go on behind the scenes. Trust and believe. Yeah. And the ones who do it, the ones who do it the best are the ones who putting their grind down in it. You know what I'm saying? And it's good to have a good support system when you're trying to do YouTube or trying to do anything. You need somebody that supports you and cheers you on, your biggest cheerleader. And, hey, that's how we rock. I'm always found my pom-pom. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Cartwheels and all. <laughs> well, you guys, make sure you subscribe. Yes. And hit us in the comments. Holla at your boy. Holla at your girl. Ew. You know, you already know what to do. As we said before, hit that bell, bing, so you can be notified of all the content, all the videos that we have been store for you. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome to the Double M Kingdom. And we'll see you in our next video. We out of here. Bye. Boom. City boy with it. City girl with it. <laughs>